Hello again YouTube back again with another update video for the Xiaomi Redmi 1S. This time it is a CM13 R8 with the Android 6.0.1 and this is the update video from the first video that I made. You can check it out in the top right hand corner right here or in the description. So let's see the changes since the first build release. As you can see there the first release here R1 after that there came the Android 6.0.1 and then most of the changes there is mostly fixes, bug fixes and also under the performance which is really nice like some of the stuff is battery mode, min free, FM radio, kernel changes, fixed flickering and low brightness which is really nice for if you have a lot of nighttime reading it doesn't flicker anymore like the previous builds. Okay, so let's take a look at the changes since the first build. As you can see right here, you've got multiple pages for the tiles, notification toggles. You can change that by holding it down and then moving it around. Very simple and very nice. To the left, you can see more settings like the header, show the weather, click done and there you go, the weather is now gone. But if you want to get it back on again, it's there and also the tiles settings. Very straightforward, very nice. Okay, so let's see at the settings here. See in the Android version right here, it's indeed the 6.0.1, the most recent Charger mod. And yep. Let's see in the settings, the changes, uh, there is now a cellular networks toggle right in the settings page. And also uh, some of the force closes before in the first build is now has been fixed. Like in this battery light, you can't do it before here because it force closes, but now it is fine. Which is really nice. Okay, so let's see at the battery, there's no battery modes. As you can see there's another one, efficiency. I think it's more like in between the power safe and balance but for me now balance is still the best one. Battery life is also pretty much the same as the older builds. Pretty excellent for my day to day use. Performance is pretty good as well because uh, there's some changes to the CPU uh, governor to interactive or something like that yeah so let's take a look at new features here FM radio let's put in in as you can see it requires a headset and there you go very easy very simple very nice the design let's turn on the speaker as you can hear it works pretty much Fine, you can change the station right here or seek various stations. You can see the list right here, your favorites, uh, you can rename it, you can remove it. As easy as that. When you go back, there is a notification area panel, you can stop it like that and you can, you can go back. There's also a new feature is start recording, but one thing that I did found is that when I did record it to test it out, I don't know why, but it's a bit weird. It's sort of like distorted the sound, as you can see here. Uh, let me play that for you. It almost sounded like a dial up modem here. So yeah, uh, maybe the devs need to take a look at that problem right away. So other stuff is that, look, screencast. So now you can uh, record videos straight from your phone, screenshot from your phone. Be in mind that it will get a bit laggy because it records the stuff that you are doing right here you can see because this is a pretty much a basic phone for
from 2014, I guess. Yeah, you can show the touch. This uh, white thing right there. It's very nice, but yeah, it works fine. Let me stop that out. Recording, ready to share. Let us see that. And there you go. You can share it to many of your friends about your games, your games, or maybe other stuff that you want to share with your friends. It's really nice. Probably I'm going to use this, but because it doesn't really show the phone's performance really well, so I don't really use this thing for now. But yeah, that's overall uh, changes and things that are on CM13. For now it's pretty much stable, so yeah. Thank you for watching this update video. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't to receive more the update videos on tech related stuff. So thanks for watching and bye bye.